I was working as a hiking guide in the Canadian Rockies and uh, sort of, you know, watching climate change in action kind of thing. When you're living in the mountains, you, you're you sort of on the front lines of climate change. You see the glaciers melting, you see uh, droughts happening, things like that. So that sort of gave me the impetus to make my first film. And from that, it, the part of the process when you're editing a film, there's a lot of stuff that has to end up on the cutting room floor. And so I realized that uh, there was a whole part of the story that wasn't being told and that this dichotomy that we have in our society of, well, you know, it's the economy or the environment and, you know, you got to choose one or the other. And I thought to myself, well, what if these projects that are damaging our environment are also not economically sustainable? Is that possible? And that was essentially what, uh, what drove me. So To the Ends of the Earth is about the rise of extreme energy, uh, sometimes called unconventional energy, unconventional oil and gas, and the economic ramifications of that and how we adapt as a society to this new reality going forward. Unconventional oil and gas is fracking, it's tar sands, bitumen, it's, um, you know, different kind of, you know, Arctic oil, things like that. And so the more I looked at these things, yes, there's a huge amount of resources out there. And oftentimes, you know, large oil companies or what have you, governments as well, are always talking about the size of the resource out there, but they're not talking about the quantity of that resource that you can get out of the ground in an economically sustainable way. Essentially, these companies, what they'll do is they'll come into a community and they'll talk about, you know, how they're going to build a recreation center, how it's going to be wonderful, there's going to be all kinds of jobs and things like that. And there is, for a short period of time, there are economic benefits that flow into communities. However, these benefits don't last long. This isn't conventional natural gas. Conventional natural gas, you'll have a, a field produced for 20 or 30 years. But here it's a year or two years and it's done. So it's not, it's, uh, it's certainly not the gas of yesteryear and the resources of yesteryear. Essentially, we're at a civilizational crossroads. So we can either choose renewable energy, we can, we can reduce our consumption, we can aggressively pursue that kind of a path, or we can do more of the same, except with diminishing quality. What I'm hoping to do with this film is to shift the conversation around energy and shift it away from your sort of hackneyed, cliched economy versus environment that, well, you know, we really like the environment. Everybody likes the environment. Nobody, you know, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who says, oh, you know, the environment is not important, but we can't harm the economy. So the intended audience for this film is essentially I'd like to think it's anyone who uses energy. So, well, that's basically all of us. Energy touches our lives in so many ways, and there you just can't go through life without using extraordinary amounts of energy. In the landscape of mainstream media, there's not a lot of content uh, that sort of challenges the status quo. And so that can be challenging as a filmmaker to, to reach the audience that you want to reach. So something like Documentary Showcase is a, a, a critical platform to be able to get that out to the world. So if my film can help kickstart a conversation uh, about this new reality that we're facing, the new reality, and focus on positive ways that we can shift our society, then, then it's mission accomplished for my, for my film.